And um, I think we can move on to the other character in particular, mm -hmm. Kasumi or Sumire Yoshizawa. Mm -hmm. I can I go first on this? Yeah, you go first on this. <laughs> yeah. So I had a few theories about this when I was first playing it. I initially thought Yoshizawa, the one that you meet and the one that you interact with, was initially the de the girl who had died in the car accident. Mm. That's what I thought because throughout the game, aside from a few key points, throughout the game, the only times you really see Kasumi are when Joker is around, and the, mm -hmm. only, and the only time like she seems to be, or people seem to be aware of it is when they're is when they're students of Shujin or their faculty of Shujin. My mm -hmm. idea initially was that she had died and she was a ghost that was haunting Shujin Academy until she was able to fulfill the dream that she couldn't achieve. And somewhere mm -hmm. along the line, somewhere down the line, she believed that she was actually, she had a sister that died and was doing it for mm -hmm. her. Yeah. Now, that said, I don't hate her story. I don't mm -hmm. even dislike it. But the problem I have is that she is non-essential in this story until the mm -hmm. third semester, until that that big laboratory reveal mm -hmm. during Haru's, uh, pa during the Kumura Palace run, because she only has a couple of moments in the game in the grand scheme of things. And in terms of her arcana, I'm really starting to wonder why the moments that were part of the story just weren't part of the actual arcana instead because they actually give more information about her character and more information about what she thinks, as opposed mm. to her actual arcana that is basically just, I have a problem, main character says something, thanks senpai, you always know what to say when cheer me up. <laughs> yeah. yeah. And <laughs> when it came to her, it's just like, her story in the grand scheme of things and like, in the grand scheme of things, I'll be 100% honest, what fueled my rage in that video was a good portion mm. was the amount of interactions I had with people absolutely shitting on Maruki just because he was using Yoshizawa. Mm -hmm. And two things to that in the grand scheme of things I want to say. One, we don't have the context in terms of how long they've like actually know each other in terms of patient and therapist. So we don't hmm. know what her mindset was like throughout the grief. And two, well, I mean, I hate, I, I look, I don't want to make this like get too like incredibly like turk of sick of second turn, but I'm gonna have hmm. to say this because in the grand scheme of things, I don't like the fact that Yoshizawa, in terms of the story, is framed as a damsel in distress because in the grand scheme of things, mm -hmm. she's not. Yeah, she yeah. Is a f she is ultimately suffering and going through the death of someone that she ultimately loves. And on top of that, she's a teenager, she's put on a pedestal, and she's dealing with the fact that she killed her own sister. Mm -hmm. That is a recipe for intense depression followed by suicide. Oh, definitely, definitely. Yeah. I, if they really wanted to honestly give us an insight of what her mindset was like, I ha I already had like some ideas. Like you could have this one scene uh, while they're traversing to like Marquis uh, palace. You have this one scene where her father comes home, hears rushing water in the bathroom, starts to get worried, mm -hmm. it's like, um, Zumeri, are you okay in there? Knocks on the door, and mm. she starts to see water flowing out the bathroom, opens mm. it, and sees her lumped over the bathroom, crying. No marks on her, no marks on her or anything, but an open razor. Mm -hmm. And just looking at them, like, oh my god, you... She was close to it. She, she was, was so close, close to, it. to it, but she just couldn't mm -hmm. bring herself to do it. Yeah. Something like that, I really could feel like this could give you an understanding of what her mindset was sort of like. So mm -hmm. that when it came to her be deciding, I want to be my sister Kasumi, the idea that this whole thing of her being her sister is the stage of denial for her mm -hmm. would hit so much better for me. Yeah. But that's what, that's what I want to say. What do you want to say? Okay. Um, 
So, uh, I, I would say that I'm kind of like on the fence when it comes to Kasumi. Mm -hmm. uh, I would say that people are correct that she's not like Mary Sue worthy um, like mm -hmm. uh, Marie was in Golden. Uh, she's, she was definitely a step away from that, but I feel to like counteract that, they kind of like took away... I would say that Kasumi doesn't really have a personality. <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, she doesn't really have a personality of her own. And I, I think, like, like, now that I think about it, I guess that's the main reason. Because mm -hmm. technically she was acting like her sister. And, and this was, like, her impression of what her sister would be. Mm -hmm. And her sister was very, like, wanting to be better at her, at her gymnastics. She was a heavy eater, I'm assuming. Uh, she was she was kind to people kind of thing. That's what she saw her sister as and I think that's Why she doesn't have more of a personality outside of that mm -hmm. But even when she becomes Sumuri it it feels like she doesn't really have a personality outside of that There's there's nothing difference between there's there's no difference between her Kasumi and Su Sumuri um, that make them like unique from each other kind of thing yeah. like there's nothing about sumeri that that makes her uh, a different person like the only thing that we get is that she was shy or that she uh she was critical of herself kind of mm -hmm. thing we we don't we won't really get anything more than that she is basically same as kasumi just uh now she has a different name uh, in my opinion um but I, I never blamed Mar. I like, I never had that moment of being like, I hate Maruki because of what he did to Kasumi. Um, I feel like Maruki could have helped Kasumi without needing his powers, um, because I feel like we could have had, we could have had moments where where Kasumi could have been like extremely suicidal and all and all that, and seeing like the depths that she was willing to go, right? Because mm -hmm. of because of this guilt and I I totally get that. I've uh in the past I've I've also been suicidal uh yeah, because of, of the shit uh, I've been through. Um but uh I feel I feel like Maruki didn't need to go that far and I think that's it's it's because of that ideal of being like like he he had this ideal of wanting to make a perfect world and that started with uh, Kasumi and Osumure oh, and and helping stand that she's Kasumi, um, but at the same time I feel like there are literally people out there who go to school and there's literally hotlines out there that help mm -hmm. these kind of people with this kind of thing, right? And I feel like I wanted Muriki to be that person who was able to help her in that way and understanding like the want to be able to do more kind of thing and the frustration that Maruki would have with wanting to help his patient but not being able to and and feeling that exact same thing with his fiance where she was also dealing with PTSD yeah. um and this whole entire situation and uh he could only help her by uh completely erasing her memories and and feeling like he needed to do the exact same thing with Sumuri. Um, but yeah, I, other than she's just a part of the story, I don't really see anything in Kasumi in, in mm -hmm. uh, Kasumi in the in the beginning and Sumuri in in the third act. I I would say I'm more frustrated with the fact that everyone's like, oh, she's the best character, or, oh, she's she's OTP, like, mm. she should be with the main character kind of thing. Oh, I was like, boy. ah, okay, slow down, she's great, she's not a Mary Sue, that's great, uh, you're in the st right, uh, stepping in the right direction, Atlas, but, um, I wouldn't say she's top tier, uh, yeah. and I think the main reason why everyone likes her is because she's pretty. She's pretty, um, basically, I, I've heard people saying, oh, I have a bias to her because she has red hair, and I'm like, yeah, <laughs> that is, that's it, isn't it? It's, it's, it's really because she's pretty, because I, I, I would, I would say that if she really was, she wasn't 
all that pretty. I, I bet you anything people wouldn't put too much thought into her. Um, but since people have that bias towards her and the fact that Atlas puts so much emphasis into her with Royal, like the fact that you go out with her on the day when the whole gets changed by Maruki, mm -hmm. like people are saying, oh, this is so TP kind of thing. Well, where is she in Strikers? Where is she in any other game? Like, yeah. exactly. If she's OTP, then she should be in these other games, but she's not. I say, I still say that, that OTP is, is Joker and Akechi, but that's just, just my uh, shit post uh, shipping. <laughs> 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 right? Because, um, yeah. like, I feel like they have a better relationship than, than Kasumi and Akechi do, but um, basically just. Um, but yeah, I, I agree with, with that. I feel like they could have gone a lot more with Kasumi's character and Maruki's character too, mm -hmm. in showing their kind of downfall, yes. right? They g give hints about their downfall, but they don't actually show it. And I feel like Pete, we need to, we need to see this stuff. We need to yeah. actually see, uh, the downfall of these people. We need to see the 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 nitty gritty of all of this. Like, if you're going to make a mature game, you should just go all out. You yes. shouldn't. You yeah, shouldn't absolutely. just. Uh, you shouldn't just like hold back, kind of thing. You should go all out and just show it. Just yeah. show it to us. I know you can easily be subtle and be like, oh, this kind of thing. Oh, they could have been feeling this way. No, like actually show it. Have yeah. scenes. Like, if you don't want to actually show. Like Kasumi coming close to committing suicide, you can you can have scenes with it. Uh, you can you can imply it. This whole story would be benef more beneficial if it was a DLC expansion. I'll just, exactly. Yeah, because yeah. It, it feels hundred percent like they added new stuff and they mm -hmm. added a whole new story at the end. But mm -hmm. again, and it's just like it feels better as a DLC. Also, um. I like I, I had been reading like the manga in five like beforehand around this and I noticed like around midway around the Makoto becoming uh, becoming part of the team then they started to introduce like royal story in the manga and I was I'm looking at this and I'm like you know I like how it introduces like just royal's characters but as the manga went on I'm looking at this and I'm like the more I look at this I feel even more so that Royal Story feels more like DLC because it just feels shoehorned in when it comes yeah. to the story. Because in the manga, the, the whole thing on social links and everything, that's not there. So they have to go with only what happens in the story. And there's only yeah. a few key moments of what happens in the story in the grand scheme of things. Yeah. And I don't know, like when I, when I realized that, it kind of aggravated me a little. And then... I read the Persona 1 manga, and this made me realize why Kasumi's story is like this. It's because they decided, I, I don't know if this is true or not, but pretty much the story in the Persona 1 manga for one of the characters in particular is downright almost exactly the same as what they were trying to do in Royal. The difference mm. is... It is done so much better with time and build up and X and just so much more payoff. So if anyone is interested in like, you know, if you're interested in knowing about like, you know, the story on Persona 1 and as well as like just a better, in my opinion, a better version of what Kasumi's story is, absolutely the Persona 1 manga I think is so much better on that end. Mm-hmm.